Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And in today's episode, we're back on the cargo running again. But today's one, I'm going to cater for the smaller ships, uh, specifically the Nomad. So I'm going to do a video today about smaller cargo running and how you can earn good profit in smaller cargo running as much sometimes as it is in the big ships so we hope you like this video guys if you do like this video don't forget to take that punch and tickle that like button for us don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them and don't forget to check out the description for the discord link drop on the discord and and also the link for if you want to join the channel and help us out further and so yeah well let's get into this one guys so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to take out the nomad this is the third time i've done this video first time I did it without sound. Second time, one of the files were corrupt, so this is the third time. Fingers crossed, I get this done. But what we're going to be looking at is is how much profit can we make with a Nomad, with a smaller ship. So the Nomad has 24 cargo. Let me bring up my other screen. So the Nomad has 24 cargo, and this is US uh, UEX Corp space, and I'll put a link in the description. And so we've got 24 cargo. So if you look at the normal things like Grecium and where we can buy that, you're looking at 11,000 profit. If we're looking at Beryl, we're going to probably be looking at 15, yeah, 14 grand profit. Diamond, 9 grand profit. The best one's probably going to be gold, around 30 grand or something, 38 grand profit. So obviously it's not worth sometimes doing this, Larry and I. 14 grand profit sometimes it's not going to be worth doing this smaller runs and so maybe meds might be a good one if you did 24 meds what can we get for that 8 grand so even that and you'd still have a hard time selling that so for a small cargo runner you think well what's the point so what we're going to do is actually we're going to go for vice and so this is going to be higher risk but because we're in a smaller ship we can get in and out quicker so this is this is what we're going to be looking at. We, we're over at Crusader area, and the, the, there's five different vices we can pick up. So the first one is is slam. So let's let's look at that slam. Ground crew needed at dispatch. Ground crew report to dispatch. So let's look at slam. Dump. So we could pick up slam at twelve grand and sell it for eighteen. So about six grand profit we could be making. Um, four grand profit here. Four point eight grand profit here. Because here you probably want to be able to sell five, yeah. So we want to be able to sell a lot. So we're going to be making around 16 grand profit with Slam. And the next one after that is Widow. So we grab some Widow. And we're looking at about, again, about three grand profit from that with Widow. What was Slam? Sorry. Slam was how much profit? 12 to 16, four grand. So yeah, and then Widow, which is the next one, is three grand profit. So that's four grand profit. And then Widow is three grand profit or 3.6. And then the next one after that is Etam. E with this little thing, Tam. And we're probably looking at about three grand profit for that as well. So Etam and Widow, we were looking at about three grand profit. And then the next one is Neon. And we're probably looking at around 2,000 profit for that. Yeah, 2,000 profit for that. And then the last one is the um, Altrucia Toxin. Altrucia Toxin. And we're looking at about one and a half thousand profit on that. So that's what we're going to be looking at. And we're over at the Microtech area, not Microtech area, the Crusader area. So we're going to pick up Slam first because that's the biggest profit. Slam. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a way of getting Slam from um, two places here. So we can get it from Sailing, private property, and from Jump Town on Yellow. Uh, we'll go to Jump Town first when we've gotten while we've got no cargo and try and pick up as much as we can over at Jump Town and then go over to private property. And I'll show you how to get to, to Jump Town, but also can we can pick up Widow at Jump Town, you see. So I'll show you how to get a quick way to get to Jump Town and then I'll also put a card in the top. So that's that part done. Extra and great customer service. That was a thing for the big shots. 
So let's grab our shit. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Let's grab the Nomad. And what I'm doing, I've got a, a gun on my back, just for protection, because we're going into these non-armistice zones. I've also got a med pen on me and a tractor beam, just in case we come across something with it that needs, you know, if we want to grab some cargo from a ship that's broken down, anything like that. We are at seven. So I'll come in prepared a little bit. And so I'm at the Crusader area and then what I'll do is I'll jump over to the Microtech area and show you over there as well. But over at the Microtech area we're only going to be able to pick up Widow and Etam. Let's take off. Requesting clearance. Stand by. So what we're going to do first is over here at, at where we are in Crusader we can go to Jump Time. But there's a, there's a, there is another way of doing it. We don't, rather than just going down, we can actually pick up a job here. So we go to the personal section here, and you'll see this supply re up, 9,000 uh, you'll get from it, and then I think it works out you get back 10 or 11,000. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this job, and what this job will do is give us a box that we've got to pick up and then point us to Jump Town. And then I think the one after that then is NT99X to get some Widow. And then the one after that I think is. Uh, Grim Hex or private property, but we'll, we'll go to private property, but it might be Grim Hex. Uh, but we're not too worried about that, we're just going to worry too much more about the Jump Town location. So the ships are fast, this, 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 especially the Nomads, is quite fast. So you can get in and out of places quite quick. Power thrusters. Maximizing engines. Here we are. So we're not in an armistice zone here. None of these will be in armistice zone, so you do have to be careful. I'm facing the door. But the good thing about these places is You can often find some good weapons here. Sorry about that landing again, guys. <laughs> Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engine systems disabled. So you can generally find some good stuff here, and I'll show you uh, an example. I've been here before in one of the other videos. I picked up a rocket launcher. And so you can pick up things like, like rail guns and stuff like that. I just left it here because I was doing the missions and stuff, and I'll come back here at some point and pick it up. So you can see you can pick up some good stuff here, around here. Pick up under this one. Again, some more stuff there. I can sell. Not in storage yet. Not pick up the box anyway. That's probably why we can't get out because of this body here. Probably why we can't get into that red box. He might have done that red box himself and then he died here. So this now gives us a location pointer for Grim Hex, not Grim Hex, sorry, uh, Jump Town. Turn engines on. Engine systems enabled. Launch and so this will, yeah, this will give us a location to, to Jump Town. Now what I suggest, suggest, if you are going to go to Jump Town a few times, just leave the box outside. Don't. Uh, to do the mission, but I'm going to do the mission in the end because I'm only coming here once. And so, but if you want to visit Jump Town a few times, then I would suggest not to deliver the box. So, we're going to drop it off, so I'm going to have to jump out a bit. 
And what I'll do is when I get over there, I'll, I'll also put a card at the top to show you how to get to Jump Town without the box. For those that want to not do the box bit. And you can also see when I do this, just looking at the, your, your compass and your pitch and stuff like that, so you'll be able to see that. Quantum travel. So what we're going to do here is jump to OM5. Once this thing does its thing. So you could just go straight from here and just head down if you wanted to head down. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to OM5. Here we can find it. OM4. OM5. Because this is where you can do it from with the thing that I will drop in for you, so you guys see it. Quantum travel engaged. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the planet to OM3. Make sure OM3 is here. You'll see it come up in a second. You've got the dark side of the planet here. Oh, pressing the wrong button. So the dark side of the planet here, the light side of the planet here. OM3 is here. Uh, this streak going down, and there's like further down here. You can see it mainly at night. There is. It like a scar that goes down here as well. But what we're going to be looking at is leveling up the planet and see how at the top now we have in between 245 and 250 is where our marker is. And then we're going to be at pitch 28, 27, minus 27 to minus 28. And we're just going to push forward from there basically. And then once you get into the atmosphere this will turn into an altimeter how far you are from the ground and then this pitch will come here instead this will turn into a northeast southwest thing and um, it'll change from where it is here and i think we then just keep going around 65 is the the, the thing on it and minus it is around 65 on there and then we'll this i think is around 30 once it gets to here you'll see it as it pops up And as we pull in, you'll see there's the three mountain ranges here, this big one, this medium one, and this small one. And we're obviously going into this one here, right into the center of it, and just after after the center. So that's another thing to watch out for when you're doing this without the box. And we'll be passing over a big crater now, and then we just keep pointing in between that mountains and just start looking for the lights. Just start seeing them come up. It's a bit harder in the daytime to see the lights, but you'll still see them coming up as you aim in just over this little crater. Now these are dangerous areas so you've got to be quick in here and quick in quick out. You can see there's probably already broken ships around. So on top of these things here as well is you can get on the top by jumping up on these crates and you'll also find guns and stuff here. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engine systems disabled. So we'll grab this box because I'm going to drop this one off. For me, if you, if you want to carry them coming here, then just leave the box outside it. Um, if you're only planning on coming here the once, then Uh, do the mission. But you can jump on these crates here and jump up the top, you see where that gun is there, and you can pick up guns and stuff around here. Which I'll show you in a sec, I've probably got a load here. I'm just going to come in, I'm going to drop this box off where it tells me to drop it off. And then it will give me another box to pick up in a second. But that's that done. And what you can do then is have a look around, see if there's any crates and stuff to loot. Have a good look around if you are. Back door. Nothing around here, nothing around here. They've been looted already, this. And there's the other box we will pick up in a minute. 
yeah, mailboxes around here. And uh, so let's have a look what we can pick up here. So we can pick up five widow, five slam, seventeen toxin. So we'll go to the nomad. I'm going to pick up five slam. Pick that up. So I had, I uh, didn't show you, but I had. I'll, I'll show you in a sec. I did have four million two hundred fifty-one thousand seven hundred twenty-one. So I buy that. So we've got 14 spares left. We can either wait for this or we can just buy the toxin, which we're going to um, not get as much for. So we could do that or go somewhere else, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next place where they, they'll sell Widow rather than buy the toxin, because I'd rather have the Widow than the toxin. We're going to pick up this package, which is going to take us to the next place, which is nt 99 x It's the place. And this is uncut slam, so I don't know if you can actually sell this at like a Brio's yard or something like that. I'm not too sure, but I don't know what the profit is. But I do know that we get 20 grand from just actually doing the mission, so you get 9 grand and then I think 11 for the bonuses or something like that. Turn engines on. Starting now, pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. We're landing yet. Retracting landing here. Now I'm going to do something here that, um, from the advice of J. Peterman, and this is what we suggest you do when you're doing these types of runs or any cargo runs, is to boost out until these become blue, and then what we'll do is don't just jump straight to your point. Oh, I'm going to black out in a second. I'm not careful. Don't jump straight to your point. Jump to a different location. So I'm going to jump to OM5. Actually, I'm going to jump to Daymar, towards Daymar. Towards Daymar, yeah. Quantum travel engaged. And then I'm going to bust, jump out of that. Quantum travel complete. And what we suggest you do is you jump around a different, couple of different places rather than going straight to your location. That way you won't be in a quantum snare. So, say if I jump into here now, you'll see, if I jumped out to a certain point, I say if I was going to Brio's to sell some, rather than going to here, from here to Brio's, it's better off if you jump out somewhere else and then come in at a different angle, like over here and then over here. That way then, if someone has jumped from the location you're at, and if someone's jumped in from the lo location you're at to the place where you're gonna sell, there's, they could have put on that green line a quantum snare. So what we suggest is get out of, so that you're not into that same line where you would end up hitting that quantum snare. Just gonna find where I'm gonna take this, back to where we was going. So I'm gonna go back to yellow. Um, but yeah, that's uh, thanks to Jay Peterman for that. And you'll see me do that a couple of times on this run. Quantum travel engaged. So we're going to NT triple nine double X. NT triple nine double X. It's a place that's on the map. And this is again, it's not in an AMC zone. But they do sell Widow and ETAM and stuff like that. And so the beauty of having the small ship is you don't have to wait around for cargo. Or if you do wait around, it's not going to be a massive long wait. You don't have to wait around ages for it. Getting in and out of places is quick. And we can make really good money from it, as you'll see once I start selling some. Deploying landing gear. Landing gear. We're just 
try to keep an eye out, make sure we don't see any pirates or any activity around. Because we are in non armed zones here. Just gotta keep an eye on that. This one's inside the crater. Crater. So those two white things that are up on my bottom of my screen, the quantum interdiction events that have happened, where people have been pulled out of quantum. I think it's a bug that shows up, well, because I don't think it's supposed to. So let's drop this box off here as well. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engine systems disabled. Let's drop this off and then we pick up a little package of slam here as well. to climb out because it closes the ladders for me. I mean, I don't break my legs when I land. So I think we earned 500 on the first mission we just did, where we dropped off that first box. So now we're going to drop off this box somewhere around here. There. And that's going to give us another 1,000. So we've earned 1,500 on that. And then we've got to pick up this other slam from somewhere. There. Pick that up. I think I can put it in like the local. And then I'll put it on my ship. So here we are. We've got 29 ETAM, 29 Widow. That's an absolute ton of widow that we can pick up so we can keep going back here if need be so let's buy as much as that it's gone up to 32 widow now buy as much as that as we can accept that so we're full now with widow and there's so much now that we can come back and, and fill up again so let's do this let's get back on here and drop this off we'll take a different route out like I said and then we've also got to drop this um, stuff off to Grim Hex so I tried one in the one I did yesterday where I tried to sell the stuff at the Grim Hex but I ended up losing like 40 grand even though you're supposed to get a better price over at Grim Hex I ended up losing 40 grand because of the low stock um, the high stock levels and so I could only sell one instead of six or eight of the Etam and Widow, so I was getting 10 grand less because I was only selling it for 2 grand instead of 14 and and um, 12. So I was getting a lot less money and I think I did 4 of them um, where, where I ended up realising I was losing money, so I lost about 40k. Turn engines on. Turn engines on. Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. Enabled. All systems operational. Okay. So let's do this. Push up, let's go. And what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna do what I said, I'm gonna jump out to one place. So we're going over to Crusader, so we'll jump from, we'll jump to sailing first, or towards sailing. And then once this is in, retracted. we'll get about halfway, and then I'll jump out of it. And as you'll see then, if I bring up my thing, I'm halfway, I'm in the middle of nowhere now. So when I go now over to Damar, I'm not doing the, the, the route from here, and I'm not doing the route from here. I'm actually halfway, so I'm going to basically not be in that quantum snare. Trying to find where it is. Where am I going to go? Damn out of there. And we're going to go to Brio's Breakers Yard. Now, this is going to be the place where, if we do come across pirates, this is probably where it's going to be.
Quantum travel complete. And then what we'll do is go to Bri uh, Brio's breakfast yard here. Brio's. Nah. I will say I, I'm on the Asian service here and it is time, 7 o'clock UK time, PM, 7 PM UK time. So I don't know if that has anything to do with not many people being around. See how fast I'm getting in and out of these places. Like it's really quick. Broken ship over there. And another good thing about the smaller ships is you can land right at the doorstep. And engines off. Powering down systems. Engine systems disabled. Another broken ship there. So this is where having a gun will help. If we do get pulled up. So we've got here and we're going to sell this now. We've got a lot of slam widow. So we're going to sell the widow. I've got the slam five, what's that one? 12 per unit. Oh, that's the slam. Yeah, I don't want to sell that. So let's sell these. 84,000 for that. And we've got the widow. We'll sell. Don't sell that because that's your mission. Sell that. That's it. Right. So we have now. Let's have a look. Four million three hundred and eighteen thousand seven hundred and one. I'm going to work this out. So I started off with four two five four two five one. Four million two hundred and fifty-one thousand seven hundred. No, so I'm going to go four million three hundred and eighteen thousand seven hundred and one minus four million two hundred and fifty-one thousand seven hundred and twenty-one equals sixty-six thousand. Now one and a half grand of that was from the packages we delivered. So 65,000 we made there uh, on that run. 65,000 is not a bad haul. So what we're going to do is go to private property next and see what we can get from that. Um, like we said, I, I know this the stuff over at NT Trouble 9 X, but I want to try private property first and see what, what slam is there because that's where we can get slammed from. Also, there's new and waste management on here as well, on DMR. So basically, new and waste management, you can just go straight up and straight back down. Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. So 
so fast getting in and out places. So let's get this on. And we're going to go to sailing. And we're going to go to private property because they sell slam there. Slam being the best one we can pick up. So one of the reasons I'm getting in and out of places quick here is because we're on moons. Everything's on moons. When we go over to Microtech, we're not on the moon. So it takes a little bit more time, but it's still quicker, obviously, than the bigger ships. Someone's died here. They've left a little box here for us. Whoa, it's landing of mine. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engine systems. Just keep an eye on the skies, make sure. They've got people come in. Obviously, when we ship's empty, it's not an issue. Look, what did they lose? Not a lot, but let's take it all anyway. And that's what happened. See a lot of wreckage. So here they also sell slam, so this is what we're going to be looking at. Just check, see if there's any red boxes to loot. No. Let's have a look what we've got here. So we've got eight slam, eight neon. So let's pick up the slam. Let's buy all of that. And then we'll go over to pick up some. Do we want to get the neon? This going to be three grand. It's going to put us at 16. We'll go somewhere else. It's up to you whether you want to pick up the neon there or you go somewhere else. We can go to um, NT Triple Nine Double X because we know they've got stuff there with all there. But we've also got um, neon waste management we can try as well. So I'm going to go to neon waste management. Let's see what they got up there. Now you can wait around for more slam if you wanted to. It's up to you. Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. But I'm going to go straight to Neon Waste Management and see what what's there. Hydrogen fuel, seventy-five percent. So back over towards DMR. Neon Waste Management. So one of the good things about this one here, New and Waste Management, is that it's on the same place as the, um, Brio's Breakers Yard. Complete. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. And so you just have to go straight up and straight back down to sell up from here. And if there's decent stock here and you can do multiple trips, then you can just up and down, up and down. You can do a few runs in like 10 minutes. So we've got eight Widow, eight Etam. So Widow and Etam is pretty much the same. So on on profits. So we'll take all the Widow. 
and we'll take all of the heat up. There we are, full. 24 cargo, let's go and sell this. And um, what was left, so we had No way to left, but we've got six ETAM, ten neon. So we've got it, we can come back here if we need to come back here. Just remember guys, um, we are in non arms this zone, so just keep an eye out on things. Just this one thing to just remember. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Again, let's not sell the little package of slam we've got. Eight slam, we're gonna sell for 134. Eight widow, we're gonna sell for 108. Lead time, we're gonna sell for 90. That leaves that little bit of slam there that we've got to take off to Grimex. So let's have a look what we've got now. We now have 4,387,000. 450. Let's put shot numbers in. 4,387,450. 4, Minus 4,318,701. 4, Equals 68,000, 68.7,000. So again, another good chunk there, 68 grand. And so next one, we're gonna go over to Triple Nine Double X again and see if we can get a full load of Widow this time. Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. Turn engines off. Complete. Powering down systems. Engine systems disabled. So we're looking at trying to get a full load of widow this time. See what we can get for that. Obviously slam's gonna give you your best profit. If you can get a whole lot of slam, you're probably looking at close to probably 100k with that. Engine systems disabled. Engine Let's have a look. Oh, so someone's been here now and took all this. Let's take all of. Oh, that's the other one I've got. Let's take all of the widow. All of this ETAM. Now we can wait around if we want and see if, if it any more appears, or we can go straight over to Neon Waste Management again, or private property again. 
Well, you see, I mean, we could have waited around for, for the start, but you can see it's not a massive issue not getting the start. It's not like a wasted journey because we did pick up some stock. But we can just jump off because we can move around so fast. We can jump off to the next place. So we'll go off to sailing. We'll go over to private property. See what we can get over there. And this is the beauty of this small ship. So you can just, it's just so fast to get places. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engine systems disabled. Remember guys, if you are doing this, remember to be jumping around. Don't just go do what I'm doing where I'm where I am just jumping straight to the places. make it easier for the pirates. Let's see what we can get here. I think we can pick up any slam here or not. Yeah, five slam. We'll definitely pick that up. Slam. Pick the neon up as well. And what we can do is we can wait around if you want for the ne for the next update, or we can just go straight to neon waste management and then straight to breakers again. This is what we'll do. We're going to the breakers. We might as well drop off at neon waste management first to see what we can pick up there. And then what I'll do is I'm going to make this the last one hit this area, and then I'm going to head over maybe to Art Corp. There's Art Corp you can go to, and there's also. Microtech you can too. I've not been to my uh, art corp doing this run for a while so I'll go over there and what I'll do is I'll show you the places where you can go to um, when I'm when I'm almost finished in fact if I show you now do this jump and then I can show you. Quantum travel so the places engaged. you can go is in the Crusader area you've got two places here on yellow you've got the jump town and NT triple nine double X in sailing you've got private property and at Damar you've got new and waste management and you sell over at Breakers Yard. Quantum over at Art Corp complete. you've got on the rear you've got uh, the orphanage and you also have Raven, uh, not Raven's Roost, um, another drug den. I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember the name of the drug house over here. Um, it'll come to me in a bit. It's near Teddy's Playhouse, it'll come to me in a bit. And then you sell over at Walla on Samson's and Sons. Um, whatever that is. Samson's and Sons. And then over at Microtech. we find Microtech. Over at Microtech, you've got, on Kleeper, you've got Raven's Roost, and then on Microtech, you've got the Necropolis and Outpost 54, and then you go and sell them over at Uterp and about Devlin Scrap there. So they're the places to get stuff. So I'm going to go to New Home Waste Management here, then to Brio's, sell this, and then I'm going to head over to Arcorp. And obviously, I won't have you jump the jump with me, but you'll see me when I get there. Did. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engine systems disabled. 
but you can just see how fast you can move with this run. So we're at an hour and 10 minutes and a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes of that was going down to Jump Town and getting that first part of it done. Now if you don't want to go to Jump Town and you just want to try these other ones, you could, like when we went to NT Triple Nine Double X, we could have just done a couple of runs over there rather than going to Jump Town. So it's how you want to play it really. See if we've got enough to just fill up what we've got. So that's 83 SCUS. So there's only one one with other, and there's only one ETAM there, and there's only one Neon there, and someone's to call the L2 Toxim. So someone's doing this run. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up each one of these. Ah, they're all out of stock now. So all I'll do is we'll wait for them to fill up. It shouldn't take too long. And because somebody is doing this run, it's worth just moving away from here now. Going to either Magnetic or Apple. Okay, you can take this widow. There we are. So a couple of minute wait we had. I'm gonna take this widow. But you see we've got eight ETAM, four widow, so there's twelve there, and we can pick up the neon after that as well. So we could do one more run to come back here. Turn engines on. Starting brief flight protocols. So what I'm gonna do All is I'm gonna systems operational. Jump up straight to Brio's here and then straight back over to where I'm at, new and waste management, pick up the rest of that stock and then we're done. And then I'll go over to Art Corp. Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. engines off. Powering down systems. Engine systems disabled. Looks like someone's having a battle out there. And I just cruise in. Go and sell this gear. Broken nomad there. Someone's someone else had a broken nomad. Could have been the one I left around yesterday. Let's have a look. Nomad. Sell all the slam. 84 grand. Cool. Sell all the widow for 95 grand. Cool. Sell all the ETAM. Cool. Sell all the neon. Cool. And it leaves that one left of slam that we had. So let's have a look at what we've got. 4,448,507. Sell so all the neon. Sell so all the ETAM. Sell so all the neon. Sell so all the ETAM. Six to one grand. So we're making around 60 grand per run at this moment. I've had runs where I've made 90 grand, where I've got a lot of slam. I've had runs where I've picked, you know, where I've got 50 grand. So we're getting around 50 grand, uh, around 60 grand on these runs that I'm doing now. So there's someone there selling in the cargo ship at the moment.
big red cargo ship. Probably calls that cargo ship big red. Ten engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. Launch complete. Is I'm just gonna straight down, straight back up. I'm gonna go back to where we was. DMR, new on waste management, and see if I can pick up the rest of that cargo. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to I'm going to head over to Arcorp. Time we get there, single back, that other guy might be gone by then. Engines off. Landing complete. Powering down systems. And that's the sun going down, or oh, this shit. I think it's the sunset in it, sunrise. That's cool. And the sunrise. <laughs> All right, so we're low on um, low on uh, our food and drinks as well. So back to eight on here now. So that's uh, again. So that's restocked for us. That's good. So we'll definitely take all of the widow all of that. All of the tam, take all of that. And all of the neon, take all of that. And just fill up them, the last five with this Altrude's tissues. <laughs> so again, we'll probably make about 60,000 here. Let's do it. Hopefully that guy is gone, sold his cargo and gone. He did have a red pirate ship though. Look at that, sunrised.
So what I'm going to do then is going to head over to Art Corp from here as well after I've done this one. Do one run over at Art Corp just show you a difference. Ten engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All right. systems operational. Back to breakers yard. Guy is here. He's, he's left his shit, obviously. I don't know where he is. Well, so I've got the um, guy hitting me. Oh well, <laughs> there goes that then. So that goes to show just how careful you've got to be. The guy that was attacking me there was the AI. I panicked a little bit, to be fair, and didn't realise I was heading down and ended up obviously crashing. And so basically I lost everything I earned there. I think I earned like 248,000 or something like that. 200, what did I earn? Mm. 200, uh, 200, just over 200,000 or just under 200,000 and lost all of that in the end. I started off with 4,251,721 and now I've got 4,248,161. So basically I've lost about three grand altogether there. <laughs> three, and, three and a half grand. So that whole run I did there was uh, a 200,000 run all in all but I ended up losing 3,000 3, in the end. But that's just how careful you've got to be. Like I said, guys, you can't just um, rest on your laurels sometimes. You've got to be, uh, watch what you're doing. So yeah, so we hope you like this video, guys. Hopefully some guys, you guys learned something from it. Uh, I'm not too bothered about what I lost there. Um, it was, I was only doing it really for the video. I do enjoy that run, and I am going to do a couple more of them and be a bit more careful. So yeah, so we hope you liked this video, guys. And if you did, don't forget to hit that punch and tickle that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys out in the verse.